Okay, what I have here is uh, one of the first um, practical radio receivers. It's a coherer invented by Guillermo Marconi in 1897. And uh, what it does is there's some nickel and silver filings in between the two electrodes there. And when there is a RF signal, a pulse RF signal from like a spark or something like that present, it con starts conducting. It goes from about 3,000 ohms or 300,000 ohms resistance to drops down to about 20 ohms. Um, so let's see. Let me zoom out here. Um, I have this set up uh, just to show you the high resistance of the circuit right now. See, so, yeah, it's further than that. It's really high. It's not even registering on the uh, on the ohm meter. Or earlier it was about 300,000 ohms, but I'll turn it down here to continuity so that it beeps uh, when the resistance drops down. Now over here, we have just an automobile ignition coil. Um, I had a ballast here, but uh, I shorted it out because I wasn't getting a good enough spark. A um, safety pin uh, and a spark gap right here. And uh, I have a simple dipole antenna made with some alligator clips that just dropped down here. And another alligator clip over here, just forming a simple dipole. It's not connected to anything, just hanging loose right here. And uh, these are contacts to make and break. Um, the magnetic field in the coil here to, to cause a spark to happen. Now there's not even an antenna uh, hooked up to the coherer. It's just the, the test leads themselves kind of act as an antenna. So here we go. Just gonna make the make and break over here. And we see that we have continuity. And if we check the resistance, it's 27 ohms. Now to break the contact, you just tap, tap the coherer and it goes away. I'm going to try it again. That didn't go that time. There it is. And there we go. That's a Marconi wireless um, back in 1897. Just thought I'd share. How did you do, do that? It's uh, on the table.